Hello students, we have already discussed some important concepts about the last lesson story. I hope you all are safe and healthy at your home. Uh, today we will start uh, next plot development of the story, second part of the video. In that, I will discuss the uh, remaining uh, part of the story, page number 7. In that, we have discussed about uh, one important concept that is when we are in the slavery or when we are not in the freedom, that time our own language uh, always help us or we would be united if we are taking care of our own language. So this is very important thing. Uh, earlier uh, passage it is, I will refer that line. When people are enslaved, as long as they hold fast their language, it is as if they had the key to their prison. And uh, it is the key to their prison, means here, indirectly here we can say that we can get uh, all the things when we are reunited and that is the key you know, we can come out from the slavery and all the good things would happen when uh, we are uh, together when we are enjoying our own freedom but when it is possible uh, when we all are together and we are thinking we are taking care of our culture we are taking care of our own language and we have that uh, proud about our own language then only there will not be any problem to our nation also that patriotism everything it is in the part of the language because language is the soul or we can say the language of soul is our mother tongue so we have to uh, keep the same thing or the legacy of uh, so many traditions, folk songs, uh, so many things, it is included in that. So, here author is also stating about that. Then we will continue next. Then he opened a grammar and read us our lesson. I was amazed to see how well I understood it. And now here, suppose you are paying attention properly, then you will understand everything. If your approach is uh, not good, if you are not sincerely uh, doing that task, or you are not listening carefully, then what will happen? You will not understand. Now everyone was here, everyone here we can observe that they were listening very carefully. So this aspect here we can notice for the student student's approach also it is very important when you are doing something with great intensity proper attention proper attitude then you will surely understand that because your sincere efforts will uh, also reflect so here uh, franz is stating this important thing and it is important for the student i was amazed to see how well i understood it all he said seemed so easy, so easy. So here, whatever he used to tell, that was easy. And in the beginning here, Franz was very afraid that uh, M. Hamel, means the teacher, French teacher, he was going to ask about the participles and he don't know anything about it. And that participle, it is a part of grammar. But now whatever here M. Hamel, he was teaching everything here, Frank was writing, it was easy, easy. So, yet so easy. I think too that I had never listened so carefully. And here, uh, Frank is also stating that um, Sir might have uh, the same approach towards the teaching, but uh, I had not listened that uh, thing earlier with uh, great attention. So, here, I had never listened so carefully. Here he was setting and that he had never explained everything with so much patience. And here now M. Ham 
time he was also uh, explaining with the patients that is also important we the teachers attitude towards uh, teaching it is also equally important so indirectly here you know, students attitude and teachers attitude teachers approach towards teaching uh, teachers and uh, students both their attitude their approach towards teaching and learning process if it is good then there will not be problem so like that here indirectly author is commenting on the both process everything uh, with so much patience it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all he knew before going away and to put it all uh, into our heads at one stroke and here this was the last lesson of m hamel so whatever uh, the good things it was with him now uh, m hamel started sharing all that at one stroke at one time in that one lecture this is also important thing why he said the poor poor because uh, here m hamel will not have uh, one more opportunity to discuss with the student so in that aspect here Trans is stating that uh, we are poor men to the end and then after the grammar we had a lesson in writing that day M Hamel uh, new copies for us written in beautiful round hand Franz Alsace Franz Alsace they look like little flags floating everywhere in the um, school room hung from the uh, road at the top of our desk you ought to have seen how many here uh, how everyone said to work and how quiet it was the only sound was scratching of pens over the paper so here uh, in this line means the only sound was scratching of pens over the paper means everyone villagers were also there everyone they were uh, taking care that uh, everyone they were listening uh, with very patiently passionately and with respect so here the only sound was the scratching of the pens over the paper and one more new thing here we can notice once some beetles flew in so here large size insects beetles flew in but nobody paid attention to them when you are focused when you are your intensity to learn something then you will not understand what is going outside you can observe the same thing when you are uh, listening something with great intensity when you are watching tv uh, and your favorite uh, movie or something you will not understand what is happening outside or when you are writing your exam paper that time also you will not understand what is going on outside means that attention when your attention span is proper then your focus would be there so everyone's focus was what uh, was the m hamel whatever the m hamel was speaking so here uh, this aspect we can notice but nobody had paid attention to they not even the littlest ones uh, who work right on dressing their fish hooks so here scratching with Uh, their clothes here fish hooks means uh, clothes and here uh, even the littlest ones here it is about the pigeons afterwards again uh, reference it is given who work right on tracing their fish hooks as if um, that was french too on the on the roof the pigeons put it very low so here uh, put it that is the sound of pigeons here pigeon sound <coughs> the sound made by the pigeons and that is very low and i thought to myself and as a small boy he started thinking about the um, pigeons also will they make them sing in german even the pigeons now pigeons here the small boy he was thinking that now they are the pigeons they are in the here france and they might be putting or they are also making the sound in the french language 
but when german language uh, will be implemented means from next day uh, will it be also forceful for the pigeon also we can understand here a uh, small child he was thinking about that now it is not allowed to uh, write also it is not allowed to speak also in french language so here we can understand it's a small boy uh, psychology we can understand uh, small boy started thinking about that it may be um, also uh, kind of thing that the pigeon like birds also they will also uh, think about the same language and in afterwards they will also use the same language in singing so here will they make them sing in german even the pigeons and will it be also the same force or the same harassment uh, to the birds also and even the pigeons means uh, human being we are we will follow because it is the order and when everywhere uh, pigeons will listen only german language then slowly slowly pigeons will also uh, sing in or the, they will also put in the german language then uh, whenever i looked up from my writing i saw an hammer sitting motionless in his chair and gazing in first at one thing then at another as if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked in that little school room and here uh, m hamel was very nervous motionless here and m hamel was observing everything in that classroom because now uh, that was the last lesson and the memories past 40 years all that memories was there in that room and we can understand uh, the same thing that suppose you are old house or your mm, means village house so whenever you will go all that memories your childhood suppose your childhood age if you have spent in the village then all that memories you could uh, think about that or your uh, school also your first school means primary school or secondary school higher secondary school or when you will go uh, to higher education then when you will come back all that memories you would go to the same class and you will tell your friends that like, this is my class and all that memories again you will regenerate and you will start sharing about that so here also same thing we can observe that if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked in that little school room fancy for 40 years he had been there in the same place with his garden outside the window and his class in front of him just like that only the uh, desk benches had been worn smooth the walnut trees in the garden uh, were taller so here near by that garden was there and in that walnut trees were there and uh, hopwin that had planted in himself uh, twin twin means twisted about the windows to the roof and here uh, hop wind also that plan uh, we can observe mm, if you will see the image and it is spread uh, to the windows also how how it must have broken his heart to leave it all and to leave that classroom to leave all the students their attachment with the students attachment with the French language attachment to the villagers. Uh, so many things now here. How it must have broken his heart to leave it all, poor man. And for that sake, here again he is using the word because of that he is a poor man. To hear his sister moving about the room, uh, room about packing their trunks. So here uh, simultaneously, your sister. Uh, she was packing in the trunks of the bags and stuff of things. Here, mm, voice was there mm, packing the trunks. For they must leave the country next day. 
and here the word is used must because it was the order. So they have to leave the place. So we can understand the uh, here there is no any choice to the M hammer to do something. So it was order and they have to leave that place next day. But he had the courage to hear uh, every lesson to the very last. And after the writing, uh, after the writing, we had a lesson in history. Then uh, they we chanted them, Ba, Be, Bi, Bo, Bu. So here, uh, lesson in the history or uh, phonetics, here we can say that children uh, uh, started pronouncing the phonics or the phonetics, the sounds in the French language. Uh, down there at the back of the room, old house had put on his spectacles and holding uh, his primal in both hands, spelled the letter with them. You could see that he too was crying. And here, old house, he was also crying because he listened that speech. And uh, there was now the separation. And he means here, villagers will not be able to learn their own mother tongue, that is French language. And so here we can understand that. Uh, here some examples as a representative of the villagers in that old house. He was also emotional. Uh, you could see that he too was crying. His voice trembled with emotion. And it was so funny to hear him that we all wanted to laugh and cry. Hey, how well I remember it in that last lesson. So here, laugh and cry in such situation uh, when it is created. Uh, one thing is they are fortunate that they are there to listen that last lesson. But the same thing that from next day they will not be able to learn the language. They will not be able to get the lectures of M. Hamel. So here, uh, situation it is like a laugh and cry in that uh, sense we can and how well I remember that last lesson. And if that was the last lesson, but impact was more because uh, I have listened first time uh, such type of speech um, with great intensity, with uh, careful manner. All at once the church clock struck twelve. So here, then the Angelus. So here um, we can observe that Angelus is a, a prayer song in the church. Especially here, it is uh, starting with a uh, ringing the bell. Then uh, here, then the Angelus at the same moment means uh, twelve o'clock that prayer and the song, uh, everything here we can understand uh, that the French, uh, Alsace and Lawrence in that uh, area, most of the communities, uh, they are in the um, religion, it's the Christian religion. And so here church uh, clock struck 12 and then the angelus at the same moment trumpets, the musical instrument here uh, trumpets means the musical the trumpets of the Prussians returning from dream. So in the beginning it was said, uh, it was uh, given that there was a ringing of Prussian soldiers and they were returning from the dream. Some dead under our windows and Hamel stood up. He, M. Hamel was sitting, now he stood up when he listened that musical instrument and the ringing of Prussian soldiers, everything. Uh, the, M. Hamel stood up very pale in his chair. I never saw him mm, look so tall. And here he was uh, stating that I have never observed because uh, he was sitting on that chair and suddenly he stood up. But uh, motionless this type of person, if there is no motion, something, mm, he was too much nervous, pale face. There was no charm on his face. So like that here, the person, and never saw him look so tall and because of that here when somebody is just standing with no any motion and too much nervous mood then we can observe
nozzle or we can say that looks so tall and then M. Hammer started speaking my friends said me I I but something choked him I could not go on so here uh, my friends he said I I but something choked him and he could not go on so here uh, he was not able to speak like that here a uh, message we can understand he could not go on then he turned to the um, blackboard took a piece of chalk and bearing on with all his might uh, he wrote as large as he could vive la france so here uh, he was not able to speak so something he could do because his face was pale he was too much nervous so uh, he had written with very bold size on the blackboard and what was the message and that message was vive la france vive la france means long live france then he stopped and leaned his head against the wall means he had uh, with respect he leaned his head mm, he made a gesture to us with his hand school is dismissed you may go he was unable to speak because here we can observe that is uh, something choked him means his voice also choked he was unable to see because of the emotions emotions will when you are not when you are emotional you will not be able to speak so here uh, this type of thing we can observe so here uh, at the end the impact it is uh, m hand he was too much emotional and he was not able but finally he had given the message and that message is important we will of france and that is long live france uh, it's when you will preserve your language your mother tongue that is french language you will definitely come out from that and that was the final message means you love your language so here in the long live france indirectly that message very important message it was given by the and hamel so here you know, we have discussed uh, all the things then we will discuss some questions in that think as you read questions page number 7 what was france expected to be prepared with for school that day so here uh, answer is simple that is uh, participles in the french language then what did france notice that was unusual about the school that day so here every time there was a bustle bustle and bustle uh, in that uh, school especially children uh, some children they would be out they may not sit in the class and village especially uh, means there was a silence like a sunday then what was the new thing here in the costume of the hand hammer it was also special He used to wear that in special uh, days or the weekend inspection or such type of days. He used to wear villagers. They were also in the back benches and still it was filled with the villagers. And every one they were uh, sitting very quiet. So here we can observe that unusual thing. That we can explain with more examples. What had been put up on the bulletin board? And what was the uh, put up on the bulletin board? That was the order. And what was that order? It was clearly uh, mentioned that um, the order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. And the new master comes tomorrow. This is your last French lesson. Through this, uh, we can understand that what was the order written on that bulletin board. Here. Uh, Page number seven over. Okay, that questions here. Uh, three questions we have discussed. Then understanding that uh, yes, here page number eight. 
he has a great questions in that what changes did the order from Berlin was in school that day. So here what was the change? Uh, here change was the villagers were there. Every means all the students they were inside. Then third thing we can hear uh, is that is everyone uh, they were listening very carefully and some representatives here uh, former mayor, uh, former postmaster, old house uh, and other also villagers were there. Uh, that was the change. We can observe that everyone uh, they were there for uh, two reasons, especially the villagers, that they have not paid attention to the uh, education especially. So they were there to respect one thing that is the and handles uh, 40 years uh, faithful uh, service also and the second thing that uh, their respect for the uh, country also so here uh, two three things we can observe that everyone they were uh, involved and they were thinking about their own language and how to guard safeguard their own language they were intent means there was intensity in everyone that was also here yeah, focused. Then second <coughs> question, how did uh, France feeling about M. Hamel and school change? So here about M. Hamel first we will discuss. Uh, he was thinking about M. Hamel that like he was very strict teacher uh, and he used to uh, punish. So like that here, that image it was there in the mind of uh, France. But when he, last day, his last lesson, he was uh, explaining that M. Hamel, whatever he was teaching, um, it was so easy to understand. And M. Hamel was teaching with too much patience also. So means here, uh, we can understand that when you will observe that you are <coughs> teacher uh, they are uh, teaching you so many things but when the stage will come especially the retirement stage or uh, sometimes you can observe that due to some reasons uh, teacher has to leave the school that time uh, that function especially we are uh, every time experiencing 10th and 12th standard uh, students uh, their best research programs or send of uh, ceremony that time uh, students they are sharing so many things and then we also sometimes realize that so many things they are uh, thinking about us and we have uh, sometimes we may not observe that aspect of our own personality but most of the time they are also observing uh, different approach and that approach it is understanding and so many things we can understand. So here, uh, Franz was also uh, thinking about the same and he was thinking, I have not learned so many things. Uh, so I, 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 what is the now situation and that or whatever the uh, thing here, he was uh, replied that what a thunderclap his words were to me. So like that when we are observing, uh, then next step and uh, here about M. Hamel and school so and about the school here he was thinking about the school school atmosphere uh, and especially the uh, sincerity so here uh, he was started thinking about the own also uh, thinking means he was not sincere so here uh, some references uh, i will give for that here he was mentioning that uh, I was uh, for not learning means here how sorry I was for not learning my lessons for seeking bird sticks and going and sliding on the star so here uh, he was also referring that and he was also himself uh, in one way that he was also blaming that I have also not paid attention uh, so here atmosphere also changed. He was also thinking in that manner. Then, uh, 
understanding the text in that the people in this story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them what shows you this uh, why does this happen so here uh, when you will understand that your own language it will be taken away suppose you think example of our own marathi language if somebody would come and they would say that your language would be banned from tomorrow so they everybody will come together everybody will uh, think that no we have to protest we have to say god our language and then language teachers everyone they will be united means villagers students all politicians everyone they will be together and that is the thing here the people uh, in the story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them what shows you this uh, why does this happen and what shows you that they were not that much sincere about their own language so this is means they used to send their children for the uh, work means like a child labor a farm or some factories to earn something means for the uh, survival they used to think about only for the survival but there was uh, no <clears throat> more attention or the proper approach or attitude towards the education so here it was also uh, clearly mentioned page number 5 that why the old men in the village were sitting there in the back of the room it was because they were sorry to that they had not gone to the school more so here uh, this reference also we can give and why does this happen and why does this happen means when all that means when you are free to uh, write you are free to speak your own language but when somebody would ban that then only you will realize the importance of your own language and how precious your own language because language it is not only the thing that language is a culture language is your identity language is your hallmark language is your image language is the legacy language is also the part of the tradition uh, so many ethics culture everything it is involved in the language and language is that the backbone of everything so here uh, when somebody would take out that right to speak right to uh, right or means freedom of expression when it will be taken away suddenly you will realize that the importance of your own language so you can add your own quotes so franz thinks uh, will will they make them sing in german even the pigeons what could this mean so here you can think that one thing here uh, means linguistic journalism linguistic journalism in a sense that uh, students when you are imposing something on other then your ideas your own thing so here also linguistic means language german german language will be imposed on the french man. so their french language it will be taken now so they will not be able to speak they will not be able to write their own language in their own country and they have to pretend to be like a frenchman so here the small boy started thinking about the pigeon also from next day pigeons will also not be able to listen french language so will they go or will they see also in the german so like that here would it be also pressurized they would also impose so like that there was a impact on the mind of little child you can interpret in different way also here there could be more than one answer it is stated then talking about the text in that when a people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to their language uh, it is as if they had the key to their prison we have already discussed the question but then also i will mean, here uh, unity is important and that when you are thinking about your own language with proper way then when you will be united when you are together unity in diversity so many different different uh, 
caste, creed, gender, religion, so many people would be there. But if they would be together with a language, then what will happen? That their one only agenda there will be in their mind, that is to save their nation, to save their own language means to save their nation because all traditions, uh, their rituals, festivals, literature, so many things it is involved in the language and it is not only one year, two years, it is the legacy of so many years, generation by generation, their forefathers, parents, everyone, uh, they have also experienced and enjoyed uh, speaking their own language and the freedom of language, so many things. So here, yeah, when they will come together using that key, key is the language, when they will preserve their own language, then when they will safeguard their own language, then only it is possible that they can fight against the enemy and then they will come out from that and that would be the key to come out from the prison. So in that way here, uh, it is expressed. Uh, then other uh, some questions are there in that linguistic chauvinism uh, just now i have explained chauvinism means to input in linguistic chauvinism uh, that is to uh, impose our own language on others so here 